Wall Street Journal editorial board says what you're seeing under Biden is what you're going to get under her. Let's bring in Bonson Group managing partner David Bonson on this. David, uh, I like the editorial piece in the journal today, but what I thought was most interesting is the way they talk about how she tries to be pro-capitalist by saying the government's going to funnel money yeah. to chip makers. The government's going to funnel money to farms. It's a big government centric approach, which to me looks a lot like what Biden tried to do. And in a lot of ways, it may even be worse, but it's definitely a situation where now you can just call it capitalism, then go on to give a speech that is anti-capitalism. And there's a sense in which language doesn't matter anymore. We uh. just redefine terms to mean whatever we want them to mean. Um, this is big spending. It is big government. But it also is specifically tied to the belief that the human person needs the government to help them. Right. And that's the role of the government to administer health care, environmental policy, energy policy. All aspects of public life start and end with government. Mm. Along with big spending comes big taxes. There was a report I read that if there is a blue sweep, S&P 500 companies are looking at what could be $2.2 trillion in new taxes. Are they prepared for that? Well, no. And the reason why is that uh, incentives matter and behavior is affected by policy and they're not going to pay it. First of all, uh, I don't think that it's going to get implemented. I don't uh, I, even if the Republicans don't take control of the Senate, I think that that gets, you know, doled down. But let's just assume worst case scenario. It drives behavior. It starts putting pharmaceutical companies back in Ireland. It starts doing all the things right. that very clever operators, quite candidly, out of their own self-interest do. Incentives make it difference. And so they're not going to collect $2.2 trillion. And that's at a 28% rate that she wants to go to. Um, and it's another $1.2 trillion on individual tax increases. Mm -hmm. It's so interesting to me that she thinks that message, however, resonates with her base and even mm -hmm. could pull swing voters over. Mm -hmm. um, just sort of tells you what her, her logic looks like. You are from the great state of California, your home state. We talk about regulation. She touched on it in that softball interview with Stephanie Rule the mm -hmm. other day with respect to housing. Um, she says she's done a ton for California when she was attorney general and then senator. Her partner in crime, Gavin Newsom, is also an overregulator. He's got 800 bills on his desk <laughs> that he either needs to sign or he you needs to need veto. I mean, this is wild. Well, it is. And it's true uh, across all these blue states that the regulatory apparatus just keeps growing and growing. And I don't even think the electeds know what they're signing anymore. But Harris's um, philosophy about housing is particularly incoherent. Uh, the notion of a government subsidy is known to be something that pushes prices higher. You go, well, prove it. I go, OK, college education, right. um, uh, housing in the mm. past with the, even the loan subsidies and and ultimately giving someone twenty five thousand dollars to uh, buy a house does two things. It pushes prices higher and it also gets people that maybe shouldn't be buying a home. Saving a down payment for a home right. is part of being a good borrower. That was the problem with the subprime mortgage mm. crisis. Well, that's people who were getting mortgages they couldn't afford. Sometimes and then, I feel like oh. I'm the only one old enough to remember 2008. Oh, no. it, it doesn't I seem like remember. it was that long ago we can remember it yeah. david i just want to highlight this idea of humans need the government to direct their activity i do think that is at the heart of the progressive agenda and it animates almost everything you see from biden and now harris great stuff david you're the philosopher king of our economic segments great to have you, you. thanks man